The following video deals with what we will call a retrofit installation. We're installing ProPsych modular sections to an existing studio. The studio is Coin TV in Portland, Oregon, a division of Lee Enterprises. Since the psych sections have a 5 foot radius, we begin by making marks up from the floor at 62 inches and 56 inches. This will allow us to install a 1x4 fur strip, the top of which will be at 60 inches. The extra room above the fur strip is for working and fitting ProPsych. The next step is to snap a chalk line. Before cutting along these two lines, be careful to adjust the level of your saw blade to avoid cutting into your studs. After removing the sheetrock, we install the first strip, the top of which is at 60 inches. Installing the vertical corner often presents the difficulty of finding a secure attachment point for the ProPsych sections. If an existing stud cannot be found in the correct position, remove sheetrock between two studs and install a wood strip in its place. Next, we are going to prepare the vertical sections for installation. First, mark five and a half inches along each side. Then, allowing for the thickness of the fiberglass, mark the 12 inch taper cut as illustrated in the manual. Cut along these lines using a circular saw with a masonry blade. For ease of installation, bolt the sections together before installing to the walls. Clamp sections together making sure the face is flush. Drill holes approximately 6 inches apart, making sure the holes are as close to the face of the section as practical. To help hold the vertical wall in place for installation, build a temporary support. Lift the bolted sections onto the support and align into its proper position. Secure ProPsych to the wall using sheetrock screws. Next we will install the corner section. Begin by making a five and a half inch radius line on one corner. Remove the small piece as well as the tapered edges for the foot. You also need to make a 16 inch taper cut on each side of the vertical flanges. With one person behind the corner and one person in front, make sure the corner is aligned properly and clamp, drill and bolt into place. Next, we prepare the curved straight sections. Begin by removing a portion of the flange on the top edge, leaving a lip equal to the thickness of the sheetrock. Next, make an approximately 16 inch long taper cut on the two sides. The taper cut begins at the inner edge of the top lip and extends downward to the back edge of the flange. Do not overcut. Use a saber saw to complete your circular saw cuts. Refer to instruction manual, figure N, 
for preparing the ProCyc floor attachment area. Grind the edges and any excess material remaining on the lip. Once that is finished and all cuts are made, we're going to put the sections together on the floor. This is often easier because you can work in an open area rather than behind the psych. First, align the tops of two sections, with one person underneath this section making sure the faces are flush. The other person is on top clamping and drilling and bolting the sections together. Use a bolt, washer, another washer, lock washer and nut and then tighten. Repeat this process until all sections are attached. Make sure all sections are aligned and flush on the front surface. Next, mark the floor for ProCyc's attachment and mudding. At each end of the wall area, mark the floor at 4 feet 6.5 inches and 5 feet. This is where you will attach and mud ProCyc. You are now ready to lift ProCyc into place with a crew of assistants. Once in place, attach ProCyc to the corner section from behind. Along top edge, every 8 inches, attach ProCyc to the first strip using wood screws and countersink. Drill holes with an 8th inch masonry bit and roto hammer through ProCyc and into floor every 6 inches. Using a 1 half inch drill bit, countersink the holes into face of ProCyc. Blow out the holes in clean area between ProCyc and floor. Next, apply mastic where ProCyc will meet the floor. Secure ProCyc to the floor using either Tapcon screws or concrete nails. ProCyc sections can also be attached individually. To do this, one person is in front making sure the ProCyc sections are flush with one another. The other person is behind the wall clamping, drilling and bolting as previously described. After ProCyc is attached to the floor, we recommend a filler, such as a spray foam, be sprayed behind the wall for the first few inches where the psych meets the floor. This will help prevent hairline cracks developing between ProCyc and the floor. Grind a 6 inch area along the floor edge of ProCyc. Next, create a 4-inch tapered strip using Fix-All. On top of this, create a 6-inch wide tapered strip using Joint Compound. Be sure to pre-sand all ProCyc surfaces. Use fiberglass tape and sheetrock joint compound to finish all of the seams of the sections and between ProCyc and the wall. When all of the taping, mudding and sanding is completed, you are ready for painting. Prime walls, floor and ProCyc sections with interior latex wallboard primer. Then paint using Ultimat, Chroma Key, or a high quality interior latex paint. 